What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. So I've just been sitting out here all day long on my computer, on the laptop, in the VESC tool. And I've been scripting. We've been doing some VESC scripting with a Lisp BM scripting language. So I think I've got a virtual freewheeling, like a really basic version of virtual freewheeling going here. So, it's, so when I hit the throttle, motor starts going. And then when I let go of the throttle, we're freewheeling. Look at that, boys. So these are the th these are the kind of things we can do with scripting and VESC. So, and then, so when the wheel stops, so like when you slow down and your bike comes to a stop, and you hit the brakes, or whatever, then the freewheeling should stop, right? So let's go try it out. Let's go see how it works. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm just freewheeling along. We're not even we're not hitting the throttle at all. It feels a little bit rough. Like I don't know why. It feels smoother. Um, when I, like see when I hit the throttle, it's just a lot smoother. And then like when it's freewheeling, like right now I'm off the throttle. I've noticed when you're off the throttle, you can kind of hear the bearings roaring in the, from the cassette or the chain ring on the BBS HD spinning. Yeah, so I'm still, I'm still trying to get this script to do the freewheeling a little bit smoother, but at least it's freewheeling, right? I mean, look at it. So, so let's try it out. So the reason we want this virtual freewheeling is so that the chain ring keeps spinning even when you let off the throttle and the motor keeps that drivetrain engaged because you avoid kind of that jerking when it first engages and also when you keep the drivetrain engaged it maintains the chain tension which is something that I've learned to be important lately. So it's still freewheeling down there. So it's working pretty good when I'm going slower speeds. Right now the freewheeling current is just a flat value. It's I'm actually having some trouble like setting the current using the scripting. Like I think I need to update the firmware on the flip ski. I don't know that the firmware is working exactly right with the with the Lisp scripting. I think I need to update the firmware on my flip ski. Because all of these scripting some of the scripting functions aren't working as expected. But for now I'm just working with what I have. I haven't like updated custom firmware on my flip ski at all. But we're freewheeling, see? So that's cool. Helping me at lower speeds, but when I get moving, I'm still like if I get gone and I'm giving it some throttle, then I let off and I give it the throttle again. I can still. It's almost like when you're going faster, you need more freewheeling current than when you're going slower. So I'm gonna have to add that to the script. It's making a big difference already though.
so it's a lot smoother already. That's pretty cool. All right, well, sorry, this video was just kind of like looking down at the ground, but I wanted to demonstrate what we have going on here. So we got that freewheeling down there, changing spin. Still a little bit of a jerk when I'm going faster, but it's not nearly as bad. Oh! So that's pretty cool. Oh, so what I'm gonna do is probably uh, go back and I'm gonna try and make it do freeling based on how fast you're going. So when you're going faster, it'll be doing more freewheeling. And then as you're slowing down, it'll kind of ease up on the freewheeling. subscribe leave a comment what do you guys think i just wanted to give you guys a little status update peace out bubbies like and subscribe later